Zika, your single source since 1950 for quality, selection, reliability, and fast delivery. We want to congratulate you for buying a combined TIG DC machine which combines both argon gas shielded welding and electrode welding. Thank you for choosing Zika. Before we start, take a few minutes to read and understand the operating and safety instructions of the device. Please wear your safety and protective equipment before starting to work. The kit contains the TIG 200 welding machine, a cable and handle for argon gas welding and spare parts for the handle, a cable and handle for electrode welding, an earth clamp and one and a half meter cable, a gas hose and argon gas regulator. Getting to know the machine. The following controls are found on the front panel. A current switch, the MMA TIG selector switch. MMA mode is used for electrode welding and TIG mode is used for argon gas shielded welding. There is also an on-off switch. There are two indicator lamps. A warning indicator lamp for overheating or another failure of the machine. If this indicator lamp is lit, you must allow the machine to cool down and try again after about 15 minutes. If it is defective, bring it to a Zika lab technician. The other indicator lamp turns on when power is supplied to the machine. If this indicator lamp does not turn on, check the power supply to the machine. At the bottom of the panel are four connectors. The positive connector, command connection of the argon handle, argon connection with the negative terminal, the negative connector. The gas inlet from the argon gas regulator is found at the back. First, connect the argon gas regulator to the cylinder and tighten with a suitable wrench. Connect one end of the gas hose to the regulator outlet and secure with a band. Connect the other end to the gas inlet on the machine. The TIG welding handle has to be connected to the command connection of the handle. And the gas connection on the handle has to be connected to the gas connector on the machine. Place a suitable clamp on the welding handle that will be inserted into a clamp housing of 1.6 or 2.4 in diameter. In this case, we use a diameter of 2.4. Now screw the nozzle and insert the tungsten electrode with the painted part located at the back of the handle. There are several types of tungsten electrodes. Red is designed for stainless steel and carbon steel welding green for aluminum welding, and gray, which is fit for almost all metal types. Please note, in order to ensure good welding quality, it is very important to use the correct type of electrode. Now hold the electrode end as it protrudes by about 4 to 5 millimeters beyond the nozzle. Screw the guide onto the back of the handle and tighten well. Connect the earth connection handle to the positive connector. Now connect the plug into a 220 volt socket and switch on the machine. Now you are ready to weld. Please note, each electrode has specific recommendations on the packaging labels to connect the welding handle to the positive or negative connector, as can be seen for example on Zika 316 electrodes. The welding handle is connected to the positive connector and the earth connection handle is connected to the negative connector. And in the case of Zika 18, the welding handle is connected to the negative connector and the earth connection handle is connected to the positive connector. Make sure to select the correct connection. Now set the switch to MMA mode. Insert the plug into a standard 220 volt socket and switch on the machine. Please note, if after completing all of the above steps no arc is formed, try to insert the plug into another socket and switch the machine on again. Now you are ready to weld. The operating instructions contain recommended welding data to ensure you get the best welding performance from your machine. Make sure to follow these steps in order to enjoy high quality and professional electrode welding and TIG welding. 
For more information and to see the rest of our products, please visit zika-welding.com.